full screen tayo and earphones on. Number 10, June 10. Collected cash from the following clients for accounting services vendor. Collected cash kay Aquapure, kay Microtech. Debit, cash on hand. Nakakolekta ka sa tumaas yung cash mo. You debit it, you increase the cash on hand. Ano credit natin? Professional income. Reference, account numbers, and the amount. 53,000, 25,000, and 28,000. Description, to record the cash received from the clients. Another one for June 10. Paid 3,000 cash for one month insurance premium covering June insurance premium. Tingin ka sa chart of accounts. Anong related account title? Tingin mo. Debit. Dapat, bago ko sabihin yung sagot, meron ka na sa utak mo. Okay? Nauuna ka na. Pinapangunahan mo na ako. Ano debit? Debit. Insurance expense. Credit. Cash on hand. References. And the amount. Description. 21. Paid cash. The note payable to Limpan Commercial. 7,000. Ilan na nga ba utang natin? 7,000 nga ba? 7,000 nga yung utang. So, how do you journalize? Nagbayad ka, hindi eh, nabawasan yung utang, nabawasan din yung cash. So, debit, bawasan mo yung utang. How do you bawas di utang? How do you decrease? Debit, notes, payable, limpad. Credit, cash on hand. References, and then the amount of 7,000. Next, the description. 26, June 26. Paid salaries of employees for the period June 6 to 26, 2020. Net of 16,045 computed as follows. How do you journalize this? Yung ibinayad sa'yo na 16,045 pesos net na ng SSS, PhilHealth, at saka withholding tax. So how do you record that? That must be debit, salaries, expense. Magkano for the gross Amount, 17,600. And credit, of course, yung cash. Magkano pinakawalan mong cash? Yung net amount, 16,045. And then, yung business na nag-withhold, magkakaroon ng liability to remit that to the SSS, to the PhilHealth, and that would be SSS payable and PhilHealth payable. Amounts, 50175. Of course, your reference numbers and your description. 29. Paid cash for the following expenses. Automobile repairs, gas and oil, water and electricity, telephone and internet. Debit. Anong sabi natin? Tingin sa most appropriate related account titles. You have here, debit. Repairs and maintenance. Para saan? Doon sa 1-8. Automobile repairs. Yung repairs and maintenance expense account title ang pinaka-related. Ano pa? Debit, gas and oil expense, 3,000. Debit, for the water and electricity, utilities ang nakalagay sa chart of accounts. It is how much? 10,000. Telephone and internet. Nakahiwalay kasi dun sa chart of accounts. So, hihiwalay natin. Telephone and internet expense. How much? 32. All of this, ang pinambayad, sabi, cash. So, credit cash on hand. The total must be 80 thousand description to record the payment of various expenses 30 june 30 collected one month retainers fee for 30,000 from a client covering the period june 21 to july 20 2020 so journal entry debit cash on hand credit this is an income professional income Amounts, of course, 30,000. And references. Ayan. Kanina, yung references natin dito must be tulad nung nandun sa ating chart of accounts. And last one, Mr. Ocampo withdrew 20,000 from the bank for personal use. A check is issued for this amount. Withdrew cash. Debit? Correct. Withdrawal. Ocampo drawing. Credit? Cash in bank. So we have successfully journalized the transactions that you have there up to the last item. That is how you make your journal entries. Okay class, so attendance muna tayo. Please let me know you're present by hitting the subscribe button and saying present in the comment section. Bilang reward naman sa'yo sa paggawa mo yan, I will be giving you a free book. So, wala nang mawawala sa'yo, subukan mo lang. Ano? Say present in the comment section below. I will be posting my personal Facebook account and you would have to message me there. Sasabihin mo sa akin yung pangalan mo, yung address mo, and then yung name ng school mo. You just try, please. Subukan mo. Wala namang mawawala sa'yo. I will be mailing the book to you 
via LBC at wala kang gagastusin, wala kang gagawin bukod sa syempre, pagdating sa bahay ninyo, tatanggapin mo lang yung libro and that would be it. That would be my gift to you for being one of the first few subscribers. I would have to choose from the first few subscribers. So that would be my thank you gift for you. Let's continue with the lesson. Next, the ledger. Ledger refers to the accounting book in which the accounts and the related amounts recorded in the journal are posted periodically. The most common basic form of a ledger is the general ledger. It is called the book of final entry. Ano na nga ba yung book of original entry? Kanina? Nakalimutan mo na kagad. It is the general journal. Ano yung book of final entry? General ledger. General journal, general ledger. Posting to the ledger. After the transactions are recorded in the book of original entry, general journal, these entries will then be posted to the general ledgers. Ayan. Nagawa na natin ito actually kay Mr. Robert Cruz. Tama? Gumawa tayo ng T-accounts. Ipinose natin yung transactions. At pagkatapos nun, kinuha natin yung balanse ng bawat T-account. Footing ang tawag doon. It is sometimes called ruling the ledger. Posting process. So, so, so doon sa ating journal entry, i-aggregate or i-collect mo lahat yung balance ng bawat account title. So, according to posting, the balance of the cash on hand must be 43,555. This is a more formal way of posting the transactions to the accounts. So magtataka ka, mapap, baka mapansin mo dito, Sir, bakit yung cash balance po nandun sa credit side? Iba kasi yung format, ginawang pambalanse yung figure, yung balance ng cash. Subalit so, kung gagawa ka ng T-account na tulad na, ng ginawa natin kay Mr. Robert Cruz, the 43,555 must be the balance here, dito sa ating debit side. Ayan. Ginawa lang pambalanse yung 43,555 dito because it signifies that this side is greater than this side by 43,555. Pag tinotal yan, 183. Pag tinotal ito, excluding this one, hindi yan 183. Yung 43,555 ang pangbalanse, kaya nilagay dyan. Okay, I suggest this is a more convenient way Okay, a less formal but faster and more efficient way yung T-account na ginawa natin kay Mr. Robert Cruz. Ganun din, kukunin mo yung balances for cash in bank which is 22,000. Receivable, 22,000 for alpha. Beta, 30,000 receivable. Cut gas, 15,000. Office equipment, oh wait lang, may office supplies tayo, 7,000. Office equipment, 52,500. Depreciation, wala tayong entry. Automobile, 250,000. Accounts payable, 52,500. Please take note of the balances. Siyempre, pag-asset, debit. Liabilities, proprietorship, credit. Limpan, notes payable, 7,000. 7, zero, ba zero balance siya. So, it is closed account. SSS payable, 500. PhilHealth payable, 175. Withholding tax payable, 880. And Dagupan Auto Center, 250. Professional income, 150,000. Rent expense, 48,000. Insurance expense, 3,000. Salary expense, 17,600. Repairs maintenance, 1,800. Depreciation expense, wala tayong entry. Gas and oil, 3,000. Okay. Utilities expense, 10,000. Telephone and internet, 3,200. Interest expense, no entry. Taxes and licenses expense, 5,400. Ocampo Capital, 100,000. And finally, Ocampo Drawing, 20,000. All of the, those balances are important kasi gagawa tayo ng trial balance. A trial balance is a list of account with open balances. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang either debit or credit balance at the end of the period. Not unlike, tulad nung pinakita natin kanina, sabi natin, it is a closed balance kasi parehas siyang 7, yung notes payable limpan. Okay? 
Kumuntang ng 7 for the supplies, nagbayad ng 7, closed account siya. How do you prepare a trial balance? Una muna siyempre yung heading. The name of the company or if the company has no name, it must be the name of the owner. The name of the statement, trial balance. The period covered, June 30, 2020. Step number 2, determine all open accounts in the ledger. Madali lang yan, basta kung alin lang yung may balance. Number 3, list the account titles of all open accounts in the particulars column of the journal, general journal. And 4, the balances in every account should be written on the correct column in the general journal. Anyway, illustrate natin mamaya, papakita natin yung trial balance. Add the debit and the credit column and write the total of each column. Double rule underneath the total. Both totals should be equal. Siyempre. Let us show you the trial balance o Campo and associate CPAs. Cash on hand. Tignan mo yung mga binilugan nating balance. So sabi dun sa ating steps, una ililista daw muna natin lahat ng mga accounts with open balances. Ito yung mga accounts with open balances. Inisa-isa natin kanina, chinaga natin hanggang taxes and licenses expense. Okay, so, so kung mapapansin mo dito na unang nakalista yung mga balance sheet or statement of financial position account titles, also known as real accounts, followed by the income statement or the statement of profit and loss account titles, nominal account. Cash on hand, these are just the balances. I would give you time to check from 40. 53,555 up to 250,000 automobile. Accounts payable. Could you please check the balances? Tignan mo dun sa yung notes. Are these correct balances? Of course, they are. Observing the proper column. This should be your debit column and this should be your credit column. After adding everything, it should total 554,055. 554,055. Perfect balance. This is your trial balance. What is the primary purpose why you prepare your trial balance? It is in order to check the equality of debits and credits. Yun yung purpose natin dyan. So class, let's play a little game. Here in my book, chapter 5, I have here 30 true or false questions. I would like you to answer number 10 up to number 20. Kung sinong makakuha ng correct answer, bibigyan ko uli ng libro. Isasabay kong ship doon sa mga nanalo, you will be the number 8 na makakatanggap ng libro. Bago ko ma-ship yung pitong libro dun sa mga 7 people na nanalo, isabay na lang natin ito. I will randomly select again. Okay class, so that's the bell already. That's it for this meeting. Uh, so, ganun-ganun lang class. A few minutes of your time every day, imbis na kung ano-ano yung pinapanood mo, just make it a habit to watch our videos uh, bilang tulong na rin dun sa sarili mong pag-aaral. Why? Kasi tatandaan mo, hindi lahat ng nababasa mo ng mag-isa ay maririnig mo. At hindi din lahat ng mga naririnig mo ay mababasa mo. Tulungan yan. So with that, see you in our next meeting. See you in the next lesson.